takes is a little wash. It's quite uh, quite all right. It's uh, almost completely blended anyway. We will blend whatever else is uh, blendable during the highlights phase, which should probably not be too tiring. I like shading rather than highlighting because most people well most people find it easier i find it easier i find it easier to blend in when shading progressively and doing washes than uh, actually mixing colors or uh, or trying to blend in highlights it's you know it's slightly slightly easier in my opinion then again it varies from person to person it i it's your technique, it's your miniature. I can't, uh, that is really a matter of personal preference. I can't decide for you what, uh, what you find easier. What you prefer, not necessarily what you find easier, but what you prefer to do, what you think gives the best results, is always the preferred technique for you, of course, but it's always what will give you the best results for your miniatures and not necessarily what will give the best results in in the hands of your of your neighbor or the next person rather yeah this is the yes I've got to be very careful not to overstep on the green here if the green oversteps on the flesh I can always correct it with the green well it's pretty much already done so I don't want to don't want to have to do that uh, I'll highlight the parts of th I'll, I'll shade sorry the parts of the flesh that uh, with, with this mix parts of the flesh that seem to require it which means only the parts that are intermediary in between what we've done in purple and what we've done in in green. Basically, everything that hasn't been highlighted yet. It will also make for a nice transition with the green. It uh, really gives out a nice brownish tint. I'm sorry if you can't really see some things properly because I'm painting underneath, but trust me, it's there. Don't really. Uh, I'm using a fine brush and I'm making a quick job of it, really. It's mainly. Uh, mainly going in the shadows really I'm just uh, not paying that much attention to the highlights as of yet that's because the highlights will do later see there are spots here and there on the green this will be corrected later on now I'm just interested in shading this thing because I can't really I can't stand an unshaded flesh it is so so crude flesh I think is impardonable to to miss <coughs> I can't uh, I can't forgive that of, of any of any painter beginner beginners often uh, highlight their armors etc but don't know how to do flesh really well so it's all practically a solid color and uh, on, on the faces of space marine for example and the flesh hasn't been touched or barely that's impardonable because uh, you can always screw up the armor but if the flesh is off then 
your miniature isn't recognizably human. And uh, that's pretty bad. So learn to do flesh really well. And uh, it'll probably save uh, your miniatures from harsh judgment, you know. Even if you do a great armor, if you do a crappy face, people will say, meh. Because the, the human instinct is always drawn to the face. Oh dear. There. Perhaps a bit more here. Right. I think I will use the same color, a mix of flesh tone, uh, which is tanned flesh from the army painter, and um, hull red to shade those lovely teeth here. Yes. Gruesome. And this eye, and this eye, why not, hmm? and this one as well, whatever that may be, hmm? there's too much water here in my mix, I'll just use less of it. I think our green needs more contrast, so I'll show you what we will do on our little palette. This is our jade, jade green, which was used for the shadows of the basically jade green mix. And I'll put in some hull red in. I'll put some hull red in, rather. And uh, yes, we'll have a brownish green, purplish green. That is uh, quite nice. And we will use that sort of a brownish, purplish green. We'll use that for shading most efficiently in strategic places. For example, wherever there's those little wrinkles here that are a bit flushed, you know, to bring some life to our otherwise green and alien flesh. Yeah, yucky. And then here, underneath here is, uh, is uh, these tentacles are probably a little uh, pinkish or flushing. Just use it as the delineation of this horrible, horrible deformed hand here. That's a somewhat intermediary color. And here, underneath here. And uh, let's see here, around this mouth. In the recesses of this tentacle and in the wrinkles under this eye. That needs a little more contrast, in fact. the birth of these tentacles underneath these awful wrinkles here And uh, 
will actually shade the purple here on the side a bit with, with, with that. That is just yucky. Let's continue on. Where else do we need some of that? Here, perhaps. Yes. Yes, indeed. Indeed we do. See? It's not all about mixing. It's all about um, contrast and gradients and washing with colors that are appropriate or rather inappropriate for human flesh. Yes, I think perhaps some here and here again. You don't need to go about it with, uh, with excess, especially on this tentacle one. You know, this is We'll put perhaps a little more of the whole red in the mix. Right, now I think we'll have some more shading with pure hull red this time. I've shown you what the whole red looks like time and again. And I think we'll have shading, for example, right here. Yes, it's going to be whole red here, but uh, we're not going to limit ourselves to the pink parts. Pure whole red will also be included in the deepest recesses here, as well as for the teeth there. those little claws, I guess. I guess they're claws, really. It looks like claws, smells like claws. It's probably claws. And now for a little highlighting. I think uh, to make it just a, a little more sickly, I will use this lovely necrotic flesh as a highlight color. Here. A bit more. There. Necrotic flesh from War Paints. I think it's Thrall Flesh in P3 and it's uh, Rotting Flesh for the Games Workshop range. This is my awful Necrotic Flesh color. There. We will do thin washes of that color wherever it seems that we need some. For example, right here.
it is not particularly clear, but I think sometimes a little necrotic flesh, you know, it helps on the end of the tentacles. You know, I think with the necrotic flesh I'll mix in a little of our base color. It will ease things. Our base color, if you remember, was a bit of um, ivory with some jade green thrown in. Oh, here, for example, I've overstepped a lot with the pink. I'll do some highlighting to catch the damage. This looks as if it should be blended as well. So we'll blend it in with little hues of necrotic flesh. That means it'll be a lot more yucky here as well. Here I think the highlighting is necessary. I'll use perhaps a slightly more necrotic flesh and uh, by using transparent coats one can both highlight and correct all the little difficulties, all the little oversteps or Perhaps the transform into a gradient, the uh, color steps that were a bit too brusque earlier on. Mm -hmm.